All right, everyone, this is Cyber Sorcerer. Um, this is a video for the launch of my Security Research Academy. Um, this is this was a course that's mainly for people that are in the industry that are doing security research, penetration testing, and stuff like that, and are wanting to get into reverse engineering of malware, learning reverse engineering, and uh, more in-depth into penetration testing and stuff like that. Uh, I've been doing this for quite a while myself, about 20 plus years now, and so now I'm uh, getting into teaching it and letting others know what I've learned and stuff by the way. My specialty, um, for those who want to know, is uh, in reverse engineering and specifically reverse engineering malware, root kits, and stuff like that. Um, but uh, anyway, this is a course that's been making for about eight, nine months now, and a lot of my social media uh, friends on Facebook and, and uh, you know, Twitter and uh, YouTube and stuff have expressed interest in learning it and don't want to really pay the prices that the people are going to be paying that are taking this and um, uh, Windows uh, for the, by the way for these are little annoying things that Windows gives gives you let me see we're going to be getting into how to troubleshoot those when they pop up and um, that's uh, going to be in the penetration testing course, actually. That's going to be in the uh, vulnerability section on how to discover vulnerabilities and exploits and stuff like that. But um, normally what I'd do is I'd, I'd crash dump that right there and uh, put it in uh, vo Volatile, which is a software framework that uh, you learn about. And uh, it'll you can analyze your live memory as uh, the way it was when that come up. You'll be able to see all the DLLs that were loaded, all the system drivers that were loaded, and actually uh, through searching and stuff, you'll find out what prompted that. Uh, if it was, we're looking for malware specifically, but um, normally, you know, you get a little window like that that tells you to buy some antivirus software because your computer is full of software and, and uh, full of malware, and it's actually not. They're just trying to get, get, you know, 40, 50 bucks out of you. But anyway, a little diversion there. Right in the middle of my video, got that little warning which is kind of cool I mean you know a lot of people get those warnings on Windows and they don't know uh, what caused it where it come from and anything like that and with uh, a little bit of a software suite that you install pre-install on your computer so you're ready for stuff like that and and, it, and a debugger um, you'll be able to do that this is one of my debuggers right here by the way Microsoft Visual Studio it's listed in the registry as my default debugger so when I debug something or when something crashes and Windows asks me if I want to debug it It'll open up the program in uh, Visual Studio, um, but I also have uh, the Windows debugging tools, which uh, you can get into other, you know, debugging other software stuff, which we actually get into when we're reverse engineering. But anyway, um, this uh, video is going to be too long, you know, if I divert more any longer here. But you will be needing Visual Studio, you know, or some kind of uh, editor you can use see right here I got Note, notepad plus um, plus you can use Visual Studio you can use dev C++ plus um, plus which is free um, notepad plus plus uh, you can there's a free version you can pay for it though but um, and there's free editors out there for C um, also compilers uh, like I said I'll be using the Visual Studio suite here when I compile it but I'll be compiling these programs like this one you see here um, We'll be compiling this from the command prompt right here um, to start out with, and then we'll be compiling it inside Visual Studio for those of you that are taking the C sharp uh, courses. Um, those of you taking assembly, we'll be doing a totally different uh, setup, different programming. That's all uh, focused on assembly language and programming in assembly. Uh, the reverse engineering is specifically in the reverse engineering course, and we'll be getting into. Um, cracking software um, there's a lot of controversy on whether I should have taught that or not but it's vital to know in malware research because malware authors tend to stop researchers from reverse engineering their software and they use a whole um, slew of different uh, methods and stuff to do that from detecting wh whether the malware is in a virtual uh, environment like a VMware or something like that and uh, if it is, it does something totally different. So they don't want you to see what it actually does. 
and um, all the way to using what software developing firms and software companies use to protect their software, you know, with the serials and stuff like that, and rearranging the IAT table, the import address table, for those of you that know what IAT is, um, and little tricks like that, and packing the software, and you know, all that stuff where you have to, you have to try first before you can uh, reverse engineer it and see the actual code, you have to unpack the software first. Um, you got to know how to do that. So it's just, uh, you know, it's a two-edged sword. You know, you don't want to teach people how to how to crack software here, but to get into reverse engineering malware, um, it's a skill that comes in handy uh, for both sides. And it, you know, if you're going to get into doing it, you're going to have to know some of the tricks of the trade that they use to protect software, because it's some of the same tricks of the trade that malware authors use to protect their malware. Uh, like I said, along with the other stuff, but. One of the other things we're going to be getting into is Backtrack, which I have open here. Uh, those of you taking penetration testing and reverse engineering, um, we're going to be reverse engineering both Windows executables and for Linux and Unix also for both because there's vulnerabilities in both operating systems. Um, Unix you can apply to the Mac OS since it's Unix based uh, with a few differences, but like I said, we'll get into that in the reverse engineering uh, course. but. Backtrack, um, we'll be using a lot, and uh, I use it also for any kind of Linux, uh, teaching Linux or anything like that. We're not going to be really teaching, you know, the commands and how to run Linux and anything like that. Let's assume that most of you uh, that are taking this course already have a basic understanding, and if not, you can just follow along with the tutorials, uh, because you will need some kind of virtual environment. As I said, we're going to be using uh, Backtrack and a VM. And we're going to be putting malware inside of VM. As you can see here, I use VMware. You can virtual, you can use virtual PC or whatever virtual environment you want to run. But um, we're going to be setting up a whole network. I'm, we're going to be opening up where I have. Let me open this back up again. Don't want this video to take too long. But we'll be having backtrack up here. We'll be having a Windows XP machine, a Windows 7 machine, and a Mac OS 10 machine up here. And we'll be using this backtrack right here to hack the other other machines, and uh, show you how that's done, and how to prevent it, and how to detect if someone has hacked your machine, and how to tra tra trace the evidence. And um, we'll be doing that various different ways, even by putting malware on the system, and you'll be able to track where the malware originated and where it come from, and all that by looking at your logs and all the various different stuff. But anyway, a lot of stuff to get to, and like I said, I have discounts for the YouTube people and Twitter people and stuff there'll be a link in the description on the video below normally the penetration testing course is $527 a month uh, with a discount coupon as you see in the description below you'll be able to use that for 197 a month and the malware course and the reverse engineering course is normally 394 a month and with your discount coupon code at the bottom you'll be able to get it for 147 a month, and all the programming courses, C, C++, Python, uh, assembly, and all that, are normally $139 a month. With your discount code in the bottom, you'll be able to get it for $47 a month. Now, the discount code, the course is going to launch live next month. And you click on the link in the description, and you put in your email address and your name, and that signs you up to be available for the discount code, which you'll be emailed to you the day of the launch. Now, I'm using GetResponse to manage this mailing list because there's only going to be 250 of these codes go out. So it's only limited to 250 signups. The first 250 that, that make it in uh, will be getting the code. Now, I can't, you know, the course also comes with coaching, so you're not left alone, but I can't coach everybody. So I know all not all 250 people are going to do this, but 90% of the people that sign up are not even going to click the link when it comes out because it'll be in their spam folder or they'll forget about it or they, they'll wait, let the two weeks go by. And only about 10% of you will actually follow through and sign up. And it's those 10% that I'm focusing on. So I already know that going in. <laughs> Sorry for for the bad news there, but I know, you know, some of, for whatever reasons, uh, some of you are going to sign up just... You know, so you get the chance to get the coupon code if you do want to sign up, but the majority of you are not going to. So, 
anyway this is like this is just an offer like I said for my YouTube and Facebook people and all that stuff uh, that want to get in on this or you want to take one of the courses at a discount or a couple of them at the discount um, just go ahead and click the link in the description put your name and your email address in there and you'll be emailed a, a discount code that's good for the first two weeks after the launch after that your discount code will be good no good no more and you have to pay full price like everybody else so if you want to get into penetration testing reverse engineering learn how to crack software um, I throw that in there as a as a, as a hook but <laughs> that's what got me involved that's what got me started years ago so anyway go ahead and sign up and uh, next month somewhere around the middle of September or something 15th or somewhere around there I'll see you guys at the members area and we'll get started on this long journey until then We'll see you guys later.